So I said the next thing we want to do is get this uh, this local repo. That's this this folder here. Well, we can't see it on the left hand side because it's hidden. But we want to get this uh, all the contents of this entire folder and this .git file into a repo, and we're going to use code commit. Now, when you use the um, the Elastic Beanstalk CLI, you're setting up a project for the new time. It'll uh, the first time it will set up a code commit project for you, and so I figured that's the way we should go ahead and do it. Um, so we'll just go up here and um, make a new tab because the the CLI is not pre-installed. So the AWS CLI is pre-installed on this Cloud9 instance, but not the Elastic Beanstalk one. So what we'll do here is we're just going to go ahead and type in uh, Elastic Beanstalk CLI GitHub. And because that's going to have the instructions for us to do this install here. And so I'm just going to scroll down here. And based on your environment, you might have to install additional things. You can see there's a bunch of things. Uh, but since we're working with Cloud9, there's not going to be anything that's too difficult here. And all we have to do to install this is to run the git clone command. So let's go ahead and give that a go. Um, so we'll make our way back to our Cloud9 environment. I'm just going to type in clear so we can see what we're doing. And I'm just going to go back one directory because this is going to clone that repo, like download this folder. And I just don't want it having in my study sync here. So I'm just going to go back a directory, which is a cd dot dot. And we're going to type in git clone. And uh, this is already complaining. Too many arguments. Oh, you know what? Because when we copied it, it already typed git clone for us. It was trying to save me some trouble. So I'm going to go back in there, copy it. I wrote it in manually. I'm silly. And we'll hit enter, and that's going to clone it. So that's just going to download it uh, to our local computer. And now to run it, if we go over here, um, it should be probably this command. Um, yep, that's the command. So we'll go back here, and we'll just hit enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to install a bunch of stuff. Um, this is probably not this Cloud9 environment is probably not using this version of Python. If we just go over here, new tab, we're not going to we're not going to mess with this one. But if I just type in, I think it's like, if I just type in Python hyphen version here. Oops, oops, oops. I didn't want that. <laughs> um, hyphen hyphen version maybe. Okay, so it says version three point six ten. And uh, this one wants version 3.72. So, you know, that's just the state of Amazon Linux 1 right now. And we're just going to have to wait. This is going to take a, a few minutes, as it says here. I'm just going to go over here. It's, I have Every time I stop the video, I have to, I have to hit a command key and it messes up terminal. But uh, we're just going to wait for this to install. And this, again, takes several minutes. So please be patient. You know, it might be three, four minutes. And I'll see you back here in a moment. Okay, so just waiting here a little bit here, coming back uh, to our first tab, we can see that it has completed. So it just took a little bit of time to install Python. Um, and there's one more thing that we need to do, and it's just to add um, this e uh, Elastic Beanstalk to our path. So if we were to type in EB, it shouldn't be able to find it because it just doesn't know where that uh, binary is stored. So we just need to take its recommendation recommendation here. We are using bash, you can tell we're using bash, this is bash up here. Uh, and we just need to echo that command here. And I'll just hit that. Uh, it also seems to suggest this. I don't remember having to do this last time. And I think we can go ahead and do that. I think it's safe to do so. I hope that doesn't mess up this uh, this uh, follow along here. But I'm pretty sure that won't. And so now if we type in EB, we have Elastic Beanstalk pop up. So that's really great. Uh, what I want to do is just delete this folder. We don't need it anymore. It's just uh, creating clutter. So just type in ls la. Make sure you are at this uh, environment uh, uh, directory. If you don't know, just type in cd tilde forward slash environment. And we'll type in rm hyphen rf AWS autocomplete it. Hit enter. And we saw that it vanished there. So it's just a bit of house cleaning because we don't need that uh, sticking around. So now that we have the Elastic uh, Beanstalk environment uh, installed, or the CLI, uh, let's see what we can do with it, which it will be actually setting up an application. I'm just going to close this other tab here, and I'll see you here in a moment.